Hello. What we're looking at right now is, is a mock-up of a burn chamber doing this dry and cold. So what I've got is, is the inside of here would be the size of where the gasifier's heating goes down through. Mind the hands because uh, I've been playing in the char. So what we've got is we've got, uh, it's kind of like an inverted plenum in here. It's just simply the burn chamber comes in and then the ash is allowed to fall. Uh, there's a mock-up of the actual fire tubes that are inside the boiler. Of course, I don't need the boiler because there's no actual heat here. goes to the far end. The vacuum hose mimics the next pass. i got got inches of water column gauge to see how much suction I'm applying to the system. And then there's another kind of inverted plenum. The object of the inverted plenums is to grab the ash off of the... Uh, gasifier as it's creating it so that the uh, the unit itself stays cool. So what I'm going to do here in a second is I'm going to pull it all apart and I'm going to show you what's what here. Uh, again this is real crude. It's just some plywood and some 2x4s cut down to mimic the width of one, one refractory brick because the end object is, is that this will actually be refractory here and there'll be the whole through the be refractory this will actually be refractory the sides here will be refractory down to the point where the heat no longer goes down here and then here it'll just be steel with a door and you can shovel the ash out on a periodic interval so um, I'll uh, open them up and we'll take some standing shots okay so we've opened up the actual burn chamber and what we can see here is, is this is the back end or the or the the hot end of the of what would have been the refractory brick opening out into more refractory brick. You notice the very, very top of the board, there's almost no ash. There's lots of ash down each side. This is all good. This is a very good sign. The reason being is, is that the mate to this is actually over here. Okay. And what we've got is we've got the actual ash kind of impinging on the face of the uh, what would be the the front end of the heat exchanger and then up above it would be the mimic of the the fire tubes in the uh, in the heat exchanger if you notice yeah there's there's a bit of ash there but it's not bad it's all right here and then slowly but it collects down there and that's exactly what we want so this is the end if I come back here I'll show you what the so this is the the end that had the tube on it, and it looks pretty good. Now guess what? At the other end, it's really cool. Cause guess what? Ah, <laughs> almost nothing. Almost nothing at this end. That's good because there's two, three more passes that have to go. The vacuum cleaner would have mimicked the third, the second pass. Let's see what's in the vacuum. The vacuum was clean when I started this whole test. So let's see what's in here, and we'll go from there. There's a bit. As long as it's ash, it's fine. It's ash. That's it. There's nothing else. No char. Perfect. That's what I want to see. So that proves to me that the, uh, the collection system is collecting all the char, and it's just the light fluffy fly ash that's flying, which is fine. I have no problem with the fly ash. I can deal with that with a filter at the final stage if I had to. Uh, at this point, I don't think it matters.